I wanted to do a very quick example like one that we had in the exercise just then, and it was something like sine 2x equals sine x. We're going to go through this one pretty quick. Sine 2x can be replaced with 2 sine x cos x. That's from the double angle formula, and that is equal to sine x. Now, there's a few different ways you could proceed from here next, but Mottisim, what do we need to do? I think I spoke to you about this during the exercise. What, what do we need to be careful of here? Good. So you have to be really careful you don't miss out solutions when you cancel things out. So here, the temptation is just to cancel out sine x or to divide by sine x and replace it with a 1 so that you end up with 2 cos x equals 1. In other words, cos x equals to a half, and then you finish solving the equation. However, there are other solutions because we just cancelled out sine x. If you cancel something out, you must also solve it being equal to 0. So if you cancel something out in an equation, a solution is also that it can equal 0. So I cancelled out sine x, and it could be equal to 0. Now I'm going to show you two ways that that is true. One of them. is that if I look at this equation here, if I said that this thing was 0, what would the left-hand side of the equation be? Zero. 0. And the right-hand side? Yeah. 0. So I've made it true. So if the thing I've cancelled out is 0, then the equation would be true, so it's one of the solutions. So for this equation that I've got here, I would need to check this and this to get all of my solutions. Another way, if you're not convinced of what I've just said here, if you cancel it out, it has to be equal 0. The alternative way that you could see this is I could pull everything onto one side so that it looks like this. And then what do you think I could do on here? Factorize, Factorize out sine x so that I get 2 cos x minus 1 being equal to 0. Now, the fact it's equal to 0 shows me that either this is equal to 0 or this is equal to 0. In other words, cos x is equal to a half. OK, so there's either the factorizing technique that will make sure you get all of the solutions, or there's the technique that if you just cancel it, you need to make sure that the thing you've canceled could be equal to 0. OK, 